Hey YouTube, this is Mr. Preacher Man 75 coming back to you with a uh, another installment of my tips for new gun buyers. Um, last time we talked about uh, reasonably priced handguns for home defense, and I even talked about maybe even looking into buying a shotgun if if home defense is your primary reason for uh, buying a gun. This time around, I want to talk about some options that might be good concealed carry options. Um, for somebody that's on a budget. And when I say on a budget, I'm not talking about bargain basement guns. What I'm mainly talking about is guns, maybe $400 and less. Uh, because, let's face it, guns are expensive, pistols are expensive, and they're not getting any cheaper. Um, and so if you want to uh, to get into the segment and you're serious about uh, about shooting, especially if you're going to go to the trouble of taking the classes and getting your uh, concealed carry license, you don't want to uh, scrimp too much on uh, on your carry gun. So uh, that being the case, there, there are um, a couple of different ways that you might go in terms of concealed carry. And I'll just go ahead and tell you now, I'm not going to talk about the uh, pocket 380s. There's lots of videos on... Uh, Concealed Carry 380s, the little um, Ruger LCP, the kel P3AT, um, those type, the Bodyguard 380, of, of really, really uh, small 380 caliber pocket guns. And I'm just really not going to talk about those because this, if this is your first gun that you're talking about buying and it's for a concealed carry purpose, um, those, those guns are not going to... Uh, be probably really what you want. They're very easy to conceal and, the, and they will protect your life. But um, for, your, for your first gun, you're probably going to want a gun that you can take out to the to the range and shoot a little bit or uh, take your pistol classes with. And, and trust me, when you get to those pistol classes, I don't think you're going to see anybody shooting the 380. Um, they're, they're just not made for that type of shooting. So, uh, so just know off the bat, I'm not going to be addressing those guns at all. Uh, what I will talk about, though, are the next step up from what I consider those uh, really micro compact 380s, uh, the pocket guns, which is a gun like the Ruger, or the Ruger LC9 or the kel PF9. Now, those guns are almost, almost identical. I have owned the PF9. I have a couple of friends that own the LC9. Um, I I am pretty convinced that Ruger just absolutely ripped off uh, Keltec in terms of their design. Um, I know for a fact they ripped the they ripped off the 380 from the P380. The the LCP is is just a blatant copy of the of the Keltec 380. But at any rate, those guns are very very similar in size and weight. Uh, they're identical in capacity and they're almost identical in function. The biggest difference between the LC9 and the PF9 is the LC9 has a thumb safety and some other safety features um, so that it can be sold in California where the PF9 doesn't. Uh, the PF9 does not have any kind of thumb safety on it. It's a double action trigger is the only safety mechanism you have. Um, and so for those, for you know, for that reason, if you're going to buy one of those two guns, I would recommend the PF9, the Caltech PF9. Now, um, I know there's a lot of videos out there that you can watch reviewing those guns, uh, but for $250, $250 to maybe $280, depending on where you live, you just you'll you'll be hard pressed to find a gun that'll be better that'll serve you better than the PF9 in terms of a concealed carry gun. Um, now you're going to have to practice with it because it does have a long, heavy trigger pull and it's going to be difficult to shoot that gun well. Um, and the same for the LC9. Those triggers are similar, although the LC9 has a better trigger than the PF9 does. But I would recommend either of those for a concealed carry 9mm. Um, but in a similar price range, I'll go ahead and just say I would get the gun you're looking at there. I say I would get it because I have it. That's the car CM9. Uh, I bought that for $350 used. I think you can find them new easily for 
around 400 should be less than $400 um, it's just a more it's a better quality handgun I think definitely than the kel but I think it's nicer than the Ruger as well and don't get me wrong I like Ruger my primary carry gun is a Ruger um, SR9C but the car is um, smaller in most dimensions than the LC9 um, and very similar to the PF9 and it's just a better quality weapon it's going to be more reliable more durable the trigger is better um, so, so that would be my recommendation between the three of those. I would, I would lean towards the car. Um, Taurus makes a uh, gun in this category as well. Taurus 709 Slim. It comes in price point wise lower than the Ruger or the car would, but a little bit more than the Keltec. The price point on the 709 is going to be around three hundred dollars, between two ninety and three forty, depending on where you live. Um, I don't carry a revolver. I know a lot of people that do, and they like the revolvers quite a bit. Um, and you can get a good price on a revolver um, and, a, and a major manufacturer. Um, I've heard people complain about Taurus products, and, and it's hard to tell because I don't have a lot of experience with them. It's hard to tell if it's just people complaining or if there's really something to complain about. But um, for less than four hundred dollars, you can get into a Smith and Wesson um, thirty-eight special revolver, um, and even in their Airlight series or their Airweight series, which are um, lighter framed guns that are designed to be carried. Um, and like I said, I don't know a whole lot about their different models. There's the three four or the four thirty eight, the four forty two, the six thirty seven, the six thirty eight, the six forty two. Those are all different thirty eight special revolver models that Smith and Wesson makes, um, but they all come in at about the same price point, which is going to be around three hundred between three eighty and four hundred and twenty five dollars. Um, and then you have a a quality gun from a major manufacturer, um, and you know thirty eight special is is a very acceptable carry caliber. So. Um, those are things you might look into. Again, I'm just making recommendations here of where I would start looking if I were in the position of wanting to look for my very first concealed carry handgun. Um, in the last video, I talked about the CAR CW9 as a home defense weapon. It also would make a fantastic carry weapon. It's bigger than the CM9, which is the one I have here. Um, it's you know you, I carry the CM9 in my pocket. I don't think the CW9 would fit in your pocket, but it would definitely be a decent choice for an inside the waistband gun because it is um, a single stack magazine that's going to be thin also, and it, it'll uh, you know it, it would serve a purpose as a as a good concealed carry gun, and would roll over because it's a little bit bigger in size as a decent home defense gun as well. Uh, so. This list has been a little bit smaller, a little bit shorter than the home defense list that I that I left on the last video. Um, and again, my my lists here are not meant to be exhaustive at all. It's just kind of some of the research that I've done and the the experience I have with some of these guns. That's where I would start looking. Um, and we're talking about a price point between two hundred and fifty and four hundred dollars if you've got more than four hundred dollars to spend that's fantastic you can get some great guns between four hundred dollars to five hundred dollars um, and once once you get in that price range you're talking about glocks and sigs and um, springfields and and just quality gun manufacturers uh, that make really good guns And there's absolutely nothing wrong with them but i generally am not going to be shopping in that price range because i don't have that kind of dollars and i think for a first-time gun buyer, then maybe they're not looking to make that kind of investment either. So that's why I've kind of stuck in the price range that I have. Hopefully this is helpful to you guys. Uh, feel free to comment, let me know what you think, um, and uh, even give me a, a sub if you want to. Um, this is Mr. Preacher Man 75 We'll talk to you again soon.